Hey, how's it going guys? Just wanted to make a quick video um, showing the Akasom amplifier for the Helium Hotspot Miner. Um, this is the Super 8 uh, model. So you, you can see here, um, Akasom does have different uh, amplifiers from indoor use to outdoor use. This is the Super Miner 8. Supposedly it's outdoor rated and it's supposed to be sealed so you can use outdoor without having to put it inside an enclosure or um, other methods to prevent water from damaging but super 8 outdoor version um, also i got the rx 17 and the tx 10 model so it's uh pretty much bumping out a lot of or is amplifying the signal a lot um because my original plan was to run this setup on top of a 50 foot pole cavity filter amplifier and antenna on top of the 50 foot pole and then i was planning to run a 50 foot lmr 400 cable from this guy on top of that pole down to my enclosure um where my hotspot and the bias t but now after receiving this my original plan is going to change because first of all this thing is heavy uh the amplifier this thing weighs a, probably at least uh, a little bit less than half a pound it's it's heavy it's you know pretty big and my hand i normally wear a size medium to a large glove and this is how this uh, amplifier looks in my hand like yeah it's 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 a big setup guys and next up this is the cavity filter the 915 uh version and off the bat, it looks a little bit different than what I've seen on Akasam's uh, product pictures and also what I've seen other pitch other people who bought it um, post up. But this is the outdoor sealed version. But it looks different because you can see the screw uh, pattern here on the case of this uh, cavity filter. It's not on the sides like in the pictures. It's just here. It's got six. And instead of being at the corners and then having four and then the two more corners here, it's only got one, so I'm not really sure what, what that's about. But um, this is what I received. It's got the in and out engraved in there. Antenna goes to the in, out will go towards the hotspot side, and both sides are uh, type N connectors and they're female. You see there? Or Aunt Mel, I always get these confused, but I believe it's gonna be a female in there. Um, and also same thing for the amplifier, type N on both ends. And then, yeah, moving on next, we got the bias T. It's a uh, DC 12 volt bias T. Um, this is the RF side, antenna side, and this side is going to be to the minor. And then on here, the connectors on here, these are just uh, SMA connectors. And then on the edge here, we have the barrel port to connect the wall adapter. This wall adapter is a 12 volt one amp setup with just your typical barrel connector. So you can, you know, make adapters or order a PoE setup and, you know, use uh, splitters and stuff like that to power the hotspot and um, this bias T without having to use, uh, you know, this uh, wall adapter. That's the whole point of running PoE. Um, that's, that's what I have. Um, I'm going to hook up my Bobcat to this setup. So the Bobcat uses 12 volts. I'm going to have a PoE cable uh, from inside my house running outside uh, to my uh, setup and the enclosure. It's going to have this inside with the Bobcat. And then from the PoE cable, I'm going to have a splitter that splits off that PoE into two uh, PoE um, splitters. What is it? Injector will go to the splitter, and then the splitter is going to have two connectors. One will power this, one will power my Bobcat, because the Bobcat also uses this barrel plug, so it should be very simple. That way, nice and clean. And then, um, yeah, here we go. We've got a cable, SMA, and RP SMA. You can see one has a pin, one doesn't have a pin. So we got the RP SMA, and we got the SMA, and that goes from one end of this bias t to your hotspot if you guys want to have an idea of how things set up if you want to hook it up directly um you know put the adapter screw it in you can see this sucker gets pretty uh, long and then from there you can run the other adapter so the, uh, Alcosom does give you adapters if you want to run it like this 
and then from there you just hook this up to your helium hotspot miner and plug this in and boom you're good to go but i'm not going to go this route i'm actually going to go my own separate route and run it like this antenna up to 50 foot mass with a 40 50 foot cable going down to here this will be mounted outdoors i'm going to make my own pigtail uh, or adapter whatever you guys want to call it that would go from this side to this end so that way i can custom make my own cable because i have the tools and i already have some of these extra cables laying around and then i'm probably going to use just your standard R um, rg316 cable since everything is going to be like you know underneath my patio here to here and then from here i'm going to have another uh, 10 foot cable from this setup to where my uh, hotspot is going to be so i can easily access my hotspot um, when i need to open and closing it and just kind of like troubleshoot everything if anything does happen with my helium hotspot so 10 foot cable sorry guys if you guys are ocd about that um, antenna side minor and then this minor is going to go from another 10 foot cable to my enclosure where my helium hotspot and this bias t is going to go and wham bam going to eliminate these uh, dinky connectors and adapters here still going to be adapters and connectors because i'm running a cable but i at least want to make my own i know i'm using quality stuff and yeah whatever and then from there yeah that's going to be it and then um i may have to run a uh, attenuator because my plan of having this up 50 foot with a 50 foot cable going all the way down to my helium hotspot miner um i think this is going to be too powerful because the sig the, this is too close to your hotspot so the signal or the cable loss of running this 10 foot cable is not that big of a loss um so yeah um let me see what else oh um, before I end this video, I just want to quickly mention I initially tried to order this Akasam um, amplifier directly from their AliExpress store. And let me tell you guys, long story short, I was quite disappointed because they never shipped it out. They gave me the runarounds, kind of pulled a few strings, saying my order was shipped when it wasn't, gave me multiple fake tracking numbers. And then I guess they have different uh, customer service people because each time I message them um, on live chat i always get run around saying my order's been shipped and delivered when it wasn't and um yeah so I end up filing a claim and getting my money back and then i ordered this off of a person from ebay i guess he ordered a couple of these and tried to flip them off on ebay to make some money but um turns out i guess nobody wanted these so i got this set up for cheaper than what i would have ordered um, directly from Akasam off the AliExpress store, not to mention any uh, surprise duty fees or charges and um, that long, you know, wait for the shipping. They ordered directly off of eBay, got it less than a week later, and here it is. And lo and behold, this, this sucker is heavy for me to run on my 50 foot mass without proper guy wires. And this video is getting way too long. It's not supposed to be talking about how I'm gonna mount it. I just wanna give you guys a quick look of what to expect if you're planning or have been planning to order um, the Akasom, you know, products from their cavity filter, which is a brick down to their super big and heavy amplifier because I got the Super 8 outdoor version. And then their bias T. And um, yeah, you can see the anodizing, the color, they all look different. This one has more of a, a white, like a lighter gray tone to it, um, which should work great outdoors because it doesn't get hot. This one has a gray tone um, that's been anodized or painted or coated, whatever it is, probably anodized. And then this one is the bias T, there's no anodizing, it's just bare aluminum. So yeah, it is what it is. Find it kind of quite strange that all the colors different from all their products which is supposed to be working together but who cares um about the colors and stuff like that the video is getting way too long hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll be sure to post up some follow-up videos after i get everything hooked up and let you guys know if i see any improvements or if not or if this thing's a total junk or not i'm not really sure i i am hoping that i i do get a slight improvement over it and not to mention i'm running a 50 foot setup now because i have a pneumatic mast and I'm planning on putting that sucker way up high to get better, um, you know, uh, to get better signal with the antenna higher and then make up for that signal lost on the longer cable by running an amplifier. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.